For me, it started at a pretty young age. I was in junior kindergarten. I, while all the other boys were playing construction, I was the kid who wanted to play house. The only boy. It was pretty clear from a young age that I was different. And that led to name calling. Pretty vicious name calling, particularly for four year olds. And that eventually, as the years went on, escalated into physical abuse, pushing the playground, beating up, sort of thing, by both boys and girls, all while the teachers turned a blind eye. Mostly, I think, because they just didn't know how to address the problems, but partly because I think they probably felt the same way. They'd look at me and all I could think was fag. When I went on to high school, I really believed that would change. That magically I'd be another person. But I was kidding myself. I went to a boarding school. I remember one time I was taking the train back to school and some kid had said something pretty vicious to me and I mouthed off. Next thing I knew, I was laying on the ground in the train station, being beaten to a pulp. And years later, it's not so much that I was being beaten up, it, it's more that all the other students were looking on and doing nothing. Not a thing. The consequence of that abuse is that I was left a fairly damaged young man. And in my 20s, I did some things I'm not terribly proud of. I abused alcohol and drugs extensively. All because I hated myself, because I'd been told so many times that I was worthless. I think I realized the importance of See Different to Me personally a few months ago when we were delivering the first facilitator training session to the university and college students that actually go into the schools and deliver this different program. And I said to them, if the internet had been around when I was a young person, I would not be alive today. I spent most of my elementary and high school years just wishing I had never been born. But I didn't have access to the information to actually do it, to kill myself. A few weeks ago, a 12-year-old boy committed suicide. He was a male cheerleader and reminded me of me at that age. And the abuse was so significant that he took his own life at 12 years old. A 12-year-old. See different is about getting to the root of the problem. It's about teaching kids to respect one another, to value difference, to embrace diversity. During the 24 days of giving, won't you help us help the world see different? Please give generously.